it's, it's very important. Um, you know, the season can grind you down. Our, our last uh, week of the season, we played uh, BC on Thursday and, and followed two Dayton on Saturday. So that was a, a tough stretch, uh, but it did give us an extra day coming into the conference tournament. So, uh, you know, I don't know how much teams are practicing on the floor live things right now, but for us, you know, we're trying to get on the floor and, and only really do the critical things we're on the floor to keep our guys off their legs. So the extra time was, was beneficial. I think it was a, a, a rough end of the season, uh, but our, our guys, you know, we, we didn't have any practices where the guys packed it in or there was no energy. Um, and, and so we feel like, I think, we feel like that we have basketball left in us and that we have some good guys. And, and uh, <clears throat> when, when they when they accept that responsibility and are aggressive, then, then that puts us in a good position to win games. So, you know, we have uh, these three, uh, four sophomore uh, front court players who, who all contributed greatly tonight, who were really high on. And like, like many players and many sophomores, they've been somewhat inconsistent this season. Uh, but tonight, I thought we got great contributions from all of them. Um, you know, Trey is our, is our best defender. Uh, Alonzo is a great defender who, who finished uh, at the room tonight, you know, as well as he has all season. Uh, Dion's another very good defender who's a good shooter, a good all-around player. And Terry, I think, is just very dynamic. He's so such a big body, such a, um, you know, so versatile, can do so many things. So those guys are the, are the cornerstone of our program for a few years. And uh, the more experiences like this, the more confidence they'll have and the better we'll be. Hope so. Uh, I think Terry's going to be a great player. And, you know, we, he, um, you know, sometimes he makes things look so easy that you think that, you know, when he has 15 points, you think he could add 25. When he has uh, eight rebounds, you think he could add 15. And so I think sometimes he makes it look so easy that you, 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 you're starting to kind of, you know, be more urgent and maybe even impatient. Uh, but I, I, think that, uh, I, I think that he's playing with confidence right now. I think he knows how important he is to us. Uh, and the different things that he can do on the floor uh, are really, really impressive for a guy his size. So, um, you know, I, we, we, think, we think really highly of him and, and think that, you know, these games could be more than norm, to be honest with you. Yeah, I did, especially when I saw Terry. Uh, I think he had 13 points in the first half, and Kendall was playing really well. Everybody was playing uh, really well offensively and flowing together. I think that, again, starts off with us being just being aggressive offensively and defensively, uh, just getting rebounds and going out there and playing hard. I just played my game, you know, uh, just being calm out there. I uh, saw my teammates were scoring easily, so I try to get them uh, more shots, and then I, mean, I take my shots whenever I have them. So um, I was just trying to be patient out there and wait for my shot, and uh, some of them came. And and I, I knocked over down the second half. So uh, we, we helped a lot. We had played uh, good defense without, without our hands. I think that was a big thing. And uh, we rebounded really well. So I think that all collectively as a team, I think we did really well defensively. Yeah, well, it's always been a, um, a really big rivalry. And, uh, it, you know, it's, it's unique because the schools are different and uh, we're only six miles apart. Uh, and I think it's great. I think the fact that they joined is, is great for, for both programs. I think it's good for the Atlantic 10. And, uh, I, I think it's probably even intensified a little bit because uh, you're, you're pl obviously playing twice, playing later in the season. Uh, so it, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely a big game, a great rivalry. And, um, you know, there are a lot of different things that match up that make it that much more interesting, uh, you know, starting with how, how different the schools are. And, uh, of course, now just the styles of player are a little bit different. And uh, so it really, it really does make it that much more interesting. We uh, we know what to expect. I think that's the that's the best thing. You know, all our guys know what to expect with them as a, their, uh, de their defense, and we know how to handle it. I think so. Um, I think it'll be a really good game uh, tomorrow night. We'll uh, we'll play just how we played in the last two games and uh, be aggressive and uh, attack the press. I, I just think it's good that we uh, we just played them last week, so we're already on the scout, and it's uh, it's just how how we ended up matching up with them. Um, they're ready to play tomorrow. Um, you know, we're we're here to win the championship, and we got to take it one game at a time, and then the next opponent. So we have to be ready to play no matter who we play. So I think it'll be a really good game, especially because of the rivalry. There's really no countermeasure. I think we're just going to come out there and be aggressive. I think that's the best way you can handle uh, pressure. And uh, I think we have good enough players, you know, to handle the press and, and handle the ball. Even our front, coach, and our front court players can handle the ball. So I think we have, um, uh, we're going to attack it like we've been doing the last two games and uh, be aggressive.